Hello and welcome to another edition of Real Britain with me, Joe Fish. Join me today in Burnham-on-Sea, recently voted as the third worst seaside resort in the UK. Let's find out how it achieved this prestigious title. I'm here filming a video <laughs> and uh, it was recently voted as the third worst seaside town. Did you know that? No. <laughs> Is there anything to see? Is this... It's a pier up there. It's quite it's nice. It's the pier. Did you know that, that, that apparently that's the UK's smallest pier? It's really, we just won a load of things on it. Did you? Yeah. I might have to go in there, make this video worthwhile. Anyway, catch you later guys, thank you. I'm at probably the only thing that Burnham's got going for it. I'm at the pier. Let's take a look. Let's go and explore a British pier. Got your fish, fish and chips, your burgers, your ice creams. Alrighty then. So the fun begin. There's your over 18s area there. Casino and slots. As you can see around me here, you can see all the amusement arcades. Many seaside resorts and towns around the UK will have a pier or certainly have the amusement arcades. It's a really popular British thing to do for people to come in the summertime and spend their hard earned money on the slot machines and the drive in machines. All right, that was enough for me. That noise was an absolute racket. Can you imagine working in there all day? That ringing in your ears, you'd hear it during your sleep, wouldn't you? Crazy. Right, we'll head down some of the back streets now. So as you head off now on the main promenade, you can start to uh, start to see. Very run down, but again, very typical of many seaside towns around the UK. These once grand areas that are now run down, beaten up and full of depression and poverty. Having grown up in a seaside town, very similar to this one, I'm not shocked to see the poverty and the desperation here. It's a very common sight to see in these small seaside towns that were once great. We're on the promenade now. There's your local B&M. Couple of rundown pubs there. Hang in. There's your amusement arcade over there. And apart from that, there isn't anything bleeding here. There's a weather spoons. You know you're in real Britain when you see a weather spoons and a BNM. This is real Britain. Okay, so a couple of pubs, another pub there, and the amusement arcades. I have to be honest. But that looks like the least inviting amusement arcade I've ever seen. I've got two young children and I think even they would be disappointed with that. It's the local weather spoons. Every town in the UK has a weather spoons. That is for certain. I don't know if I'd head in there for a pint, to be honest. It looks a bit rough. You know a town's screwed when the local fish and chip shop's closed. Just walking down the back streets now, guys. I have to be honest, there is actually a lot more of these open than there is in my own hometown. So, I mean, at least the small shops and the small businesses are still running and still going. That's a really nice sight to see. If you guys have got any suggestions of filming locations, please pop them in the comments below. I'd be really interested to find out where you think we should head to next. Got some exciting adventures coming up and some special guest appearances. Shout out to Backpacker Ben. I'll see you in March when I show you around my hometown of 
Western super nightmare. Walking down these back alleys, I'm dodging dog shit every two seconds. Charity shops there. Joe Fisher's top travel tip for coming to Burnham on Sea bring your own entertainment. It's great going to the picturesque spots within the UK, but I do also have to show you the, the other side, the real Britain, how people are living. And I need to shine a light on those often forgotten areas and forgotten people within the UK. And this is the site that greets you, the Seven Estuary. And there in the background, is the UK's smallest amusement pier. As you look around behind me, guys, it's not hard to see why the beach was voted amongst the worst in the UK. I mean, I couldn't see myself bathing in there, to be honest. Could you? Okay, as we're heading back up now onto the promenade, you can see there in the distance the small pier. That pier is actually the smallest pier in the UK. I mean, I suppose that's one claim to fame that Burnham does have is the UK's smallest amusement pier. I've just had a lovely conversation off camera with a couple of local guys, so if they see the video, shout out to them. I asked them what life was like in Burnham-on-Sea, and they gave me a four-letter response, and it began with S. I just had another conversation with that gentleman there, just walking away in the background. He didn't want to be on camera, but that's absolutely fine. I just questioned him and what drew him to Burnham on Sea and it turns out that he works at one of the local Morrison's distribution centres and apparently it employs thousands and thousands of people and it's just off the motorway on the M5 here. You, you may well have seen it driving past. Uh, it's an enormous building. So it seems to be that Burnham on Sea is one of those towns that you wouldn't necessarily come to unless you had to. I grew up only 20 miles away from Burnham on Sea and this is the first time I've ever taken the time to actually walk around the town because there isn't anything here. And what drew me to come and make this video today was I was flicking through the news and I saw that Burnham-on-Sea had recently been voted as the third worst seaside resort in the UK. So only being 20 miles, I had to. I had to come down and show you guys what's what down here. And... Uh, well, so far, there isn't a lot. There isn't a lot. Okay, guys, I'm trying. I'm trying to get you some content here, but there just isn't anything here. There's the, there's the amusement arcade, three pubs, a BM, and m and then a vape shop, Shirley Sparkles, shout out to Shirley Sparkles, and Esplanade Fish Bar. Crazy. Crazy. I don't even know how it could be classed as a seaside resort. I mean, there is some holiday parks and things like that nearby. I mean, you've got Breen, not too far. But, yeah, I mean, there just isn't anything here. A big thank you to the locals that stopped and chatted with me today. Gave up a little bit of their day. I really do appreciate the information about the town. Okay, final impressions of Burnham-on-Sea. I can see why it was voted as the third worst seaside resort in the UK. I don't think it's because it's necessarily too rough or too bad. I think it's just because there's nothing here. Simple as that. Small towns and cities, they've been hit hard. They've been hit really hard. And that's what this Real Britain vlogs are about. Shining a light on these lesser known areas and these forgotten people within the UK. I really hope you've enjoyed watching today's video. Thank you to all the new subscribers and the reactions to the new videos. It's been amazing, so I thank you so much for that. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Share the videos. We're aiming for 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So a huge shout out to you all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.